Hey guys, what's going on? This is LG with Help, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak iOS 5.0.1 untethered using Red Snow uh, 0.9.10 Beta 3. And so I know I, I'm a bit late uh, to making this video, but um, I was on vacation and, and I didn't have any computer nor camera, just my iPod Touch. Uh, but so yeah, now I'm back, and so yeah, I'm just going to show you how to jailbreak iOS 5.0.1 untethered. Uh, so first of all, uh, thanks, thank you Pod2G for working so hard uh, to achieve this jailbreak. Um, so actually when you finish with the jailbreak, um, in Red Snow there's a link uh, so that you can donate to Pod2G uh, for making this jailbreak. And, but so yeah, so um, I'm currently not jailbroken, as you can see right there, so yeah. And so another thing is that you have to be on iOS 5.0.1. Uh, to su successfully jailbreak because if you're on 5.0 uh, you won't be able so just update to 5.0.1 and so after that you'll be good to go so let's just open up Red Snow and this version of Red Snow uh, the beta 3 uh, fixes some issues that uh, previous betas of this other jailbreak had so yeah this is uh, the most recent version of Red Snow and so actually it says here that this is the latest version of Red Snow and if not you can download uh, the newest one but so yeah so now we don't have to point it to any IPSW files we basically just need to click on jailbreak and that now we're gonna be putting our device into DFU mode so we're gonna hold home and power for 10 seconds and then release the power button and keep holding home until Red Snow goes to the next step so let's begin so 10 9 8 7 Six, five, four, three, two, one. Let go of the power button. Keep holding home, and then you should see Red Snow going to the next step. And after that, you can release your home button. So at this point, we can release it, and let let's uh, just let Red Snow do its thing. It'll pull the first and second stage. Wait for reboot, and there's the reboot. So now it's preparing the jailbreak data, patching the kernel, and as you can see here, it did identify my iPod Touch 4G and the version. So here, uh, obviously, if um, one thing, if you currently have a Tether jailbreak, uh, you want to uncheck Cydia and basically just run the jailbreak without installing Cydia since you already have it, and that will untether your current tethered jailbreak. But since I don't have Cydia currently, I'm going to check that, and I'm going to enable multitask gestures. Yeah, but I don't think they work, so uh, now just once you select your uh, options, just click next. And again, we'll wait for the reboot. And now your device is downloading jailbreak data. And so it will pull the RAM disk, upload the kernel, reboot again. And as you can see, uh, here Red Snow says done, and the Red Snow, uh, Red Snow says that the rest of the, the process will take here on our device. And as you can see here it says no, the untethered for this jailbreak comes from um, Pod2G, who spent many hours of his own developing its uh, multiple exploits. And here you can uh, donate to Pod2G, and I would really encourage you guys to donate to him, since he worked very hard. Um, I'm gonna donate later. Uh, but so yeah, so now you can just uh, cancel Red Snow, and now we ha just have to wait um, uh, that this finishes. So yeah. So uh, it's gonna do this for a little while, and I'll be back when it, once it goes. It goes to the next step. Alright, so now it's moving the applications as you can see right there, and it should do this uh, depending on how much applications you have, but it should do this quite fast. And so I'll be back once it's uh, done. So my device is done, and now it's rebooting. And so after it reboots, um, I'm gonna be back. So my Patouch has uh, booted up. And now if we slide to unlock and go to my last page, there is Cydia, and it does have an icon, and if I la launch it, uh, as you can see right there, it does launch perfectly fine. And I'm going to select user, click done, and so I'm just going to wait till it refreshes all that stuff, and then I'm, I'll be powering off my device and putting it uh, back up so that you can see that it, it is indeed an untethered jailbreak. 
So there we can see that Cydia is downloading, and if I scroll uh, down, as you can see it says iPod Touch 4G, I use 5.0.1, Cydia 1.1.3. So it is indeed a new version of Cydia, and so now I'll be powering off my device so that you can see that this is an untethered jailbreak. So just uh, power it off, and slide to power off. and just wait a little bit okay so now it's uh, powered off and I'm gonna turn it on right there and I'll just wait till it boots up So there, my touch is back up, and I just slide to lock and find Syria, launch it, and as you can see, it is indeed an untethered jailbreak. Syria is loading up perfectly fine, and so yeah. So yeah, guys, this is gonna be about it for this video. Hope you did enjoy it, and so yeah. So please subscribe, guys. It does help me a lot. Comment down below if you have any comments, suggestions, or concerns, and please rate this video up. It just takes a little while. So yeah, guys, I guess that's it. I'll catch you in the next video.